Hey guys, it's Chase. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going to be looking at fake Amtec flux. This is 559V2, and then I have some legitimate 559 flux that came directly from NorthridgeFix.com. Now, in this video, um, what we're going to do is I have an Xbox One S parts board here, and we're going to go ahead and remove the redriver IC. So, what I will do is I'm going to desolder the chip, and then I'm going to prep the pads with leaded solder and then I'm going to take the fake Amtec flux and I'm going to solder the chip down and we'll see how it performs and then I will remove the chip again and we will re-solder it with legit Amtec 559 and see how they do so uh, let's go to the scope and we'll get this underway alright so in comes the fake Amtec 559 flux you can already kinda tell how it even flows and how it smells too. It does not smell good at all. <laughs> all right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and flow these joints here with some leaded solder from our soldering iron. I'm going to use my big chisel tip here to flow the solder. Okay, got a decent night amount there. We'll see how the solder flows here. Okay. So far, it's not bad. So far the flux is not bad at all. Okay, all right. So that solder actually did flow pretty well there. All right, well, let's grab the hot air and we're going to grab our chip, put it in the general area. We'll see how this flux does here. Let's try that again here. Okay. Put the chip in the general area here. There we go, it's starting to work here. Well, I gotta be honest, the fake Amtec is doing well. <laughs> I am very, uh, very surprised here. Wow, okay. All right, so let's, uh, this is fake Amtec as well. Now we're going to use a conical angled tip to flow the solder around the edges of the chip. So I'm going to do flow some solder here. Okay. So what I do notice is that the, so the, the solder seems to evaporate really quick. That is one thing that I noticed right off the bat. And it's kind of hard to solder here with just that uh, flux because the the solder wants to uh, not flow after a certain point here. Let's see here. We have to add some more flux and give that a try again. Let's add a generous amount. Okay. Okay, so, all right. Now I want to I want to try this side again right here. Let's add some more flux here. Okay. Okay. All right. So, it looks like the flux did its job enough, which uh, is fine with me. Um, this is not some type of flux that I would probably use uh, every day um, by any means because I can tell there's already a huge difference between genuine Amtec and this, whatever this is. Um, so let's go ahead and clean the board up here in the area where we soldered. We'll take a look at our joints, see how they are doing, and hopefully it won't be too bad of an issue. The solder joints don't look half bad from uh, first glance either. They do look pretty good. Um, let's see here. So, I mean, even the solder joints themselves, they look really good. Let's take a little bit of a brighter approach here. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to see. Uh, let's see if I can maybe. Yeah, and see those joints, they look really, really good. 
All right, so here is the legit Amtec 559. You can tell the way it spreads on the board is way different. There's a little bit of hairs there, but it actually looks high quality. Amazing, right? All right, kicking on the fume extractor, turning the iron back on. Um, I'm going to use the same tip that I used to uh, apply solder to the board. My chisel tip, a little bit of solder on it. All right. And the solder seems to be flowing about the same as the other Amtec. All right, now I'm gonna add some flux here in the center. Oh my goodness, yeah, the flux looks way different than the other stuff did. All right, since I lost the other chip, what we will do is we'll just use this TDP-158 that is bad and just install it in its place. And if you don't already know, the TDP-158 does work on an Xbox One S if you ever uh, are running out of the 159 chips that originally go on this board. All right. So we'll see how this flux actually works compared to our other 559. All right, so now the chip is soldered in place here. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some fresh Antec 559 around these joints here, and I can already tell that the solder took to the chip way, way better with this flux than the last flux. The joints just look better with the chip just surface connected to the board. All right, so I'm gonna apply some solder here to the tip. Oh yeah, what a difference, man. All right, let's solder this side here. Wow, the solder just flows like it's butter. That's what you want. Okay, and this last side. Oh yeah. And you see how the flux just kind of like stays in its place. And you can go over it several times and it just works. It's just so nice. Uh, now obviously my iron is a little bit uh, small for this one plane right here, this little connection here. Uh, but yeah, there it is. It's, it's nice and soldered and it's probably good to go. Let's see, I'm making a bridge here. How about we add a little bit more flux on this uh, edge here? Try to give you guys a better view of it. Let's add some Amtec 559 V2 original absolute flux here. All right. We're adding a very generous amount here because I really want to see it work. All right. And now we're just going to let that work here. Look at that, man. Oh my. Wow. What a huge, huge difference. Let's see here. Just wanna make sure I don't have any bridges, and I do, I have one bridge there. Let's see if I can just clear it real quick, yeah? There it is. All right, let me clean up the chip with some IPA real brief, and uh, we'll check those joints and see what they look like. We're gonna zoom in here and we're just gonna look at these joints. Look how nice they look. As you can tell, they just look very nice, fresh, soldered joints. Look at those. So yeah, the proof is in the pudding. All right, so what do you guys think? Fake Amtec 
or real M Tech? You guys let me know in the down below what you guys thought was better. Um, myself personally, I thought the M Tech, the the fake stuff. Uh, didn't do too bad of a job, but there was a huge considerable difference with the real stuff. And honestly, for whatever, I think it might be $16.95, but I definitely recommend checking out NorthridgeFix.com and ordering yourself some genuine Amtec Flux. So that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.